Hello everybody, today I have this DD15 engine. This DD15 engine is making a really loud noise. I don't know what's going on with this engine, it sounds very bad. It sounds like something is broken inside, for sure. So... I believe that there is something on the top area of the engine then it's not working properly. So I'm gonna start by removing the air filter, the brackets and the valve cover to inspect the top area of the engine. Okay, with the valve cover completely removed, I can have full view of the valve train and the internal components of the top area of the engine as you can see i cannot see any damage there is no visual damage you can see everything looks normal there is nothing that i can say that is broken everything looks on place but when i start paying closer attention to the uh, rocker arms I start seeing this especially in the number one see the ball is completely loose completely removed you can see it's open it's way open this is the reason why it's making this loud noise and if I go to the other balls this is tight I cannot move it this is tight too this one is loose, see? So basically all these bolts are loose. This is the reason why this engine is making that loud noise. The compression of the engine doesn't go nowhere because the valve doesn't open at all. So you can see it's way open. See all of them. See. So basically only one cylinder is working, see, this is the only one that doesn't have play at all, see, see, you can see the thread of the cam housing on the ball, that means then the cam housing needs to be replaced, this is a, a common problem on DD15 engines, this usually happens when uh, mechanics, technicians, they uh, replace the cam housing seal, uh, they remove the rocker arm shaft completely to remove the cam, the, um, the cam housing. And when they put it back, you have to torque these balls to 41 uh, foot, uh, pounds plus 90 degrees. So after putting the 41 foot pounds in the bolt, you have to turn it 90 degrees, will be an L. So you're applying around like what, like 80, 90 pounds to this ball, which is a very weak ball, but the ball is not the problem. The ball, the, the problem is the cam housing cap, which is this one right here. This is the one that holds the cams on place and holds the rocker arm shaft on place so it has two functions so to repair this problem we need to replace the cam housing uh, I was looking at all the balls all the balls are loose all the balls are loose all of them so that means that this cam housing seal was replaced in the past but whoever then did the job they didn't tighten well or they over tightened and it caused this problem then the ball got stripped and now it is damaged so to fix this problem i need to remove the cam housing and replace it as i said before but there is another way to fix the cam housing which is uh, remove the cam housing caps and uh, replace the thread inside for this uh, rocker arm shaft is cheaper than replace the whole the replacing the whole cam housing um, and I mean it works so before I do anything 
I'm gonna tie all the bolts, all of them, all the ones that are loose, except for this because I cannot tie this. Okay, all the bolts are tight, so all of them were loose, completely loose. That was the reason why it was making that noise. I'm just gonna mention that I am tightening these bolts not to start the engine. I won't start the engine right now. I'm just gonna rotate the engine to see if the engine rotates freely because uh, the bolts were loose and this can cause a problem, you know, because the rocket arms were hitting really bad to the bolts and this can cause a really bad problem to the bolts, the pistons and anything. So at this moment, I just gonna go underneath the truck and I'm gonna rotate the engine. Okay, the engine should rotate very easy. This is the way I'm gonna rotate it. I'm gonna put the screwdriver right here and I'm gonna rotate it, see? Like this. Okay, the engine rotation is just fine. There is no problem. So, uh, make sure if you, this happens to your engine, make sure that the engines rotate freely. Otherwise, uh, you can have problems after putting everything back together. I'm going to be removing the rocker arms to remove the uh, cam housing caps. But because this engine is leaking oil, as you can see from the cam housing, I want to remove the entire cam housing to replace the seal. So I want to make a different video how to remove the cam housing. You can check that at uh, the video description below on how to direct link for that. I have the cam housing out. The next step that I need to do is to remove these 10 millimeter bolts. I want to remove all these bolts on both sides, on both the uh, rocker arm shaft. With all the rocker arm shaft bolts removed, I can lift the rocker arm up now to remove it completely from the cam housing. So that's what I wanna do right now. I wanna get it up over here. Be careful not to um, miss these springs. You see these springs? Save them because these are the jake brakes springs over here. Make sure to put them in a safe location because we wanna reinstall them with the same springs. Okay, so all the rocker arms shaft are out. I have them right here, as you can see. So now the next step is to remove these 10 millimeter bolts, all of them. The seven, there is seven bolts. I wanna remove them all. And I'm going to pull this uh, j bray solenoid. Just pull it up. It comes out easily. Now I'm going to remove the camshaft caps by moving it like this until it gets out like this as you can see it is out i want to do the same for all the seven i want to remove them the same way and be sure to mark the position of the cam uh, cam caps in this case you have to make sure to write the position because they don't have a number, as you can see, there is no number. Uh, this one doesn't have a number. Uh, so I'm gonna put a number on them, so I know the location of each cap. So just to show you, this is the one that has the damage thread on here. Here over here. Let me see if I can see that, that's really dark over there. You can see there, see the thread is damaged? You can see it, right? See the thread is damaged on this one. The same for the other one right here. You can see it, it is all damaged. That's the reason why the, uh, the ball cannot hold no more because it's all damaged. You can see pieces of metal inside. You can see over there, it's all damaged. So, 
as I said before, I'm gonna take the cam housing caps only and I'm gonna take them to repair because this will be cheaper than replacing the whole cam housing. All right, I have the seven caps over here. I already marked them with numbers, as you can see. Make sure to do that. Uh, now it's easy to see the damage. Do you see the thread over there? Now you can see it very easy. You can see it right there. See, that's the damage on the thread. You can see the heli coil coming out. It's really hard to focus on this one, but anyway, I just wanted to show you the damage. You can see. Anyway, I have the cam housing here. I have the two cams. This is how they look like. If you have never seen them, these are the cams, uh, the camshaft of a DD15 engine. This is the way they look like. They go over here. They don't have bearings at all. It's just the cam housing, the one that goes, uh, then does the function as a bearing. If for some reason you see that the camshaft is bent, you see any bent or something, then it looks uneven. I suggest to replace the cam because now it's easy. You just can take it out like that easily with no problems. All you have to do is to remove the timing tools from both sides and you can easily remove the can shaft from the can sham housing. One more thing, for example, you remove the cans, the can shaft, you remove them completely, you're gonna take the timing out. So to put it back together, all you have to do is to set this mark. Uh, let me see, let me try to oh, yeah. that mark, you see this mark? You have to align that mark with this line over here in the back. The other one is right here, it's just in behind this plate. It's hard to see it. It's behind the plate. Hey, uh, you barely can see it over there. Put it like that and then set the timing on the back. And that's all you need to do in case you replace the cam chaff. So now all I'm gonna do is to take these cam uh, caps to the machine shop to get a repair. In this case, they're gonna repair the thread. 